Hello, everyone. This is Dawn. It is uh, Sunday, September the 5th, um, and recording this a bit early. This is actually um, a, a gift I wanted to share with you um, on Sunday, September 11th, next Sunday. Uh, it looks like I'll be traveling a bit this coming week, though, and so uh, in anticipation of those adventures, I wanted to go ahead and pre-record this video for you. And just before I'm recording this, I just took a short walk by the... Uh, by the uh, still waters and listening to those beautiful bird calls in the background. And I found two, uh, two small items on my walk I wanted to share with you. I found this um, very small cardinal feather. I love cardinals. Um, very much a uh, reminder of um, people who have transitioned in my own life that I uh, feel very close to. So I found this cardinal feather and then this beautiful red dotted leaf uh, early, early sign of the leaves changing, and uh, feel that we're very much coming into that in our world. Uh, and this week uh, will uh, offer us uh, more and more opportunities for uh, expansion and for embracing the true colors of our own lives. So I just wanted to uh, share with you this year on the 15th anniversary of 9/11. I wanted to share with you. Um, the truth map, which is a part of the 24 solar systems, the dynamic and sustainable systems that are reconnection points to the dynamic and sustainable system that you are and that I am. And uh, you can find more about the 24 systems in my book, All Systems Go. Um, this uh, week, however, I really wanted to share a little bit uh, more with you about the truth map and how you can transmute terror to truth um, by accessing those points of reconnection. So I'm going to share eight sacred movements with you, and these uh, comprise what I call the truth map, one of those 24 dynamic and sustainable systems. Uh, and I want to share with you these eight sacred movements, these, these eight momentum action pathways that uh, are ways that you can access your own essential truth and, and turn, shift your focus from what appear to be uh, usually external uh, acts of uh, terror to the truth that you are. Uh, in in the my forthcoming book, Holy Terror, I talk a lot about this and, and about the alchemy of love and how that is made possible as each one of us embraces the fullness of who we are and really understands that uh, we are here to, to be love and we are love. At our core essence, we are light and life and love. So let me just read to you from the truth map, and I hope this serves you uh, this year during this week ahead. Uh, and maybe there is a great intention with me uh, sharing it early. Maybe that is all in divine order. So here you go. This is the truth map system to connect to your essential truth. It's number 23 out of the 24 systems. So it's toward the end. And the only uh, one that remains after the truth map is the beauty map. And beauty really is the full realization, the radiant realization of who we are. It is the fulfillment of all of those earlier, of the, the seven wonders of the soul and all of those earlier, um, the work that we have done to uh, connect with our essential selves, our essential journeys, and our essential truth. So the truth map system to connect to your essential truth includes pathways to become the alchemist and transmute truth to terror by trusting in the grace and beauty of this life. So the first momentum action pathway or the first sacred movement is to love yourself wholly and completely. In all circumstances that arise within you and around you, choose love. Love yourself wholly and completely, even if you seem in this moment a stranger to yourself and all seems lost in darkness, even if you do not know who you are or why you are here, even and especially if you are gripped by terrible things around you or an inexplicable terror rising up within you, love yourself wholly and completely. The second of the sacred movements to turn truth to terror is to notice what is before you, what is around you, and what is within you. Choose to witness it without giving up or without giving in. 
simply notice, allowing all that rises up within you and presents itself or appears before you. Welcome it as your beloved teacher, coming to you now to gently guide you back to the whole truth of who you are. The third sacred movement is to trust that life is working at all times in your favor. As such, return to a state of rest, seeing yourself within the context of the infinite love and life, I'm sorry, the infinite love and light that sustains all life. See yourself as an expression of this infinite love and light, even when you feel separate from it. Await the revelation of truth. The fourth sacred movement is to open the eyes of your heart to the darkness you have perceived to be in you and of you. So open the eyes of your heart to the terror that you see also in the world around you. Touch the terror by placing your hand on your heart and breathing slowly, asking that you be strengthened by the infinite source that is your sustenance and supply. There is no need to dwell upon or within the terror. Merely be present to the whole of you, which may include in any given moment this terror. The fifth sacred movement is to ask for healing. Ask that this terrified place within you and all related terror that is projected around you be immersed in the infinite love and light that is the ground of all that is and await the miracle. When you don't believe in miracles, treat this step as a science experiment, knowing there are universal laws in place. Become curious to observe the effects of this new choice you are making. The sixth sacred movement is to bring a spirit of loving attentiveness to your life. Forgive any thoughts, feelings, desires, choices, or actions you or any other had made in any time, place, or reality that co-created the illusion of terror that is now causing you such pain and anguish. You may choose the practice of Ho'oponopono toward the tangled re roots of terror in you or another by saying, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. The seventh sacred movement is moment by moment, day by day, choose love and compassion. Choose this for yourself and for others. Allow all that is not of you and for you to fall away, knowing that the only thing that is yours to do or to bring your attention to um, is simply what is, and to love without seeking to change it, mold it, fix it, or eradicate it. Know that this terror has only what power you give it. The last, the eighth sacred movement to turn truth to terror is to seek out what is true. Give thanks for your formation, reformation, and transformation in this and each and every day, knowing that all terror becomes holy gift as you choose love. Give your attention to all that is beautiful and being revealed to you in this moment as you embrace a whole new way of freeing yourself. So essentially, this opportunity to turn terror to truth, whether it is a terror we are reminded of by external events, such as the anniversary of the September 11th um, incidents, or whether um, that uh, terror is an experienced in, in just everyday moments in, in an inexplicable way, in a way that I have definitely experienced um, for the most of, um, of my life here on earth. Whatever the source of that terror, the opportunity is for us to turn back to the love we are and to allow that alchemical process of being the light and the life and the love we are to do a work of grace, to transform as if in a miraculous fashion often that, uh, that terror that we, we feel will never we, we are, it's, it's almost like we feel like it's in, got us in a grasp, right? And when we see events of terror reflected, it can feel uh, jarring and as if there is no hope. And yet, the opportunity is for us to realize that the truth of who we are is not that. The truth of who we are is love. And that love can do a great work and it can transform all things. And I believe that um, this is a real opportunity that we have to redefine uh, what we have seen um, as events 
of terror and division. And as I'm speaking this, I want to show you guys this here. There's one of these little seed pieces of bark that it's actually just, just split. I just it um, It's in two. See how it looks like a broken heart, doesn't it? And uh, also you could see the angel wings of the bird of freedom. And uh, there, there is an opportunity for us um, now. For those of us who were affected um, deeply by the events of September 11th, the opportunity is for us to um, heal that and return to the love that we are and, and allow that love, allow that love to just pour out and to heal the nations, to pour out onto all that that needs healing grace. Um, but that begins in the process within us. And that begins with us knowing ourselves as light and as life and as love. So I am I'm just wishing all of us, whatever might unfold in our individual lives and for the collective in the week ahead, um, I am inviting us to choose truth and love the way to walk in the way of wholeness and love and to know that the truth of who we are cannot be divided um, it cannot be corrupted it cannot be it, it really can't um, be shaken unless we participate in that if the foundation of who we are is um, is secure within the love of God with which we are identifying and who we know ourselves to be um, as a bearer of light and of life and of love, then we ourselves, by being present to the pain that is, being present to the terror that presents itself, and choosing to see that, even that, as holy gift, we are transformed. And in that transformation process, not only do we ourselves receive, but we give a gift of inestimable value to the world. We offer the whole of who we are, and we allow our truth to be seen, and that truth begins with light. It begins with life. It begins with love. So this week, um, whatever changes are, are uh, at play in your life, take the red color of this leaf and this feather and know that you are beautiful and you are secure and there is an essential truth, a river of truth that runs through you. So just allow yourself to connect with that river this week and use those eight sacred movements if they are helpful to you. I will uh, provide a link uh, where you can download uh, a map to reconnect to these eight sacred movements to transmute terror to truth. And remember, you are whole, you are complete, you are loved, you are light, you are life. You are love. We'll see you soon. Follow me on Facebook to follow the adventures. Not sure how it's all going to go. We'll see. Lots of love. Bye.